In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how much I spend in a month while living in Singapore. Hi everyone, welcome to Insider Gyan. My name is Somi. I'm an IIT Delhi and ISB Hyderabad grad and on this channel I share a lot of career tips, I share about my experiences, journey, some personal finance tips as well. So if all of those things interest you then please consider subscribing to the channel. Okay coming to today's video there are really two motives behind making today's video okay. Number one is to actually give you a good sense of what are the living expenses in Singapore because two of the most common questions that I usually get about working abroad is how to get a job in Singapore and secondly what are the living expenses. So at least addressing one of them in this video. And secondly, I wanted to give you a quick insight into how I track my expenses and I would obviously love to know how you guys track your expenses as well. If you have some interesting ways, then please leave me note in the comment section. I would love to learn. Okay, so I do have all my expenses on an Excel sheet in front of me. Before moving there, I want to clarify two points. Number one is all these expenses are for two people because I do live with my husband in Singapore and all expenses are combined and at the end I'm just going to divide it by two to give you a sense of a per person cost. And secondly, I do have quite a few business expenses as well for running Insider Gyan, things like getting help for video editing or helping me manage my social media, helping me promote my courses, etc. Those I have not covered here because A, I don't really track that as a part of my Singapore earnings anyway and B, it's not a living expense, right? So even I might make a separate video on that because those expenses might not be as relevant for you as well. Okay, so with that, let's get started with the video. What are some of the common expenses, right? The first and foremost and the biggest expense that we always usually have is house rent. So I pay 3,500 Sing dollars per month for house rent. This is a centrally located apartment in River Valley. River Valley is literally the center of the city and we live in a two bedroom apartment just to give you a sense of uh, what I'm paying for and honestly this is not a very high price I would say this is on the lower side we did manage to get a good deal you should assume like a 3700 to 4000 cost in this kind of a location for a two bedroom apartment but also keep in mind that the more you go away from the city center for instance the apartment prices will drop for the older condos the prices are slightly lower as well so there could be a lot of variations but this is how much I pay then moving on the second big bucket is obviously food right so for that firstly let's consider groceries for groceries I spend about 120 sing dollars every week for two of us which should come out to be about 480 sing dollars per month then I do have someone who comes twice a week and helps me cook a few things so like a help you can say and for that I pay her like 30 dollars per day so on an average I call her about eight to nine days for helping with cooking and that comes out to a total of $270. All of the items are in Sing dollars by the way okay so Sing dollars is slightly different from US dollars. One US dollar is 1.3 Sing dollars just to give you an idea of the conversion. And lastly in the food category of course when I'm eating out there are some expenses of eating out as well. So for this I've assumed it to be about $100 per week which means maybe about one outing per week and it could of course go up but this is what I've assumed for, for this video and it totals up to about $400 per month. Okay so then moving on from food let's talk about the utilities. For utilities we usually spend about $250 sing dollars every month. For gas, electricity, water etc we get one combined bill and that is usually slightly lesser than $200 every month and then of course for internet we pay about $50-55 so a total of about $250 is a reasonable assumption. Next for telephone I have assumed to be about $100 sing dollars per month that's based on my kharcha which is about $20 which is uh, really cheap because I only have a prepaid connection I have a very solid postpaid connection from my office which is why I don't need another 
postpaid connection and then Akhil pays like 50 60 dollars per month for his phone bills so a total of 100 is about justified for two people then moving to transport I've assumed it to be about 500 dollars now do note that these days when we are working from home mostly it doesn't really reach that high but on a regular day if you assume that we are traveling to you know work with a combination of public transport or a, an uber it comes out to be on an average about ten dollars per day i would say so 10 into 20 22 is like 200 and that multiplied by 2 is 400 and then just a hundred dollar buffer for you know whenever we are traveling around in the weekends Weekends mostly we end up taking a cab anyway. So a total of 500 is what I've assumed. And then the last bucket I have is for all the ad hoc expenses, which is not a recurring expense, but sometimes may come up. For example, I, I spend a lot of money on um, skincare products. Then some days we are shopping. Sometimes we are traveling around, haircuts, medicines, those kind of things. And for that, I've assumed it to be about $500. So those are all the things that I've assumed, which are more of monthly recurring expenses. If you sum all of these up, you can probably see a screenshot over here. If you sum all of these up, it comes out to a total of 6,000 per month, which means it is about 3,000 per month for a single person living in Singapore. Now, I want to caveat it that it is probably a very mid-range budget. So it's not on the higher end definitely not on the higher end but there are still a lot of scope for saving money if you want if you are say for instance a student or if your salary is lesser then there are still scope of uh, reducing expenses i would say mainly in transport because 500 per month is quite high for transport transport if you are taking public transport mostly in singapore that is very cheap so every ticket like a bus ticket or a train ticket is not more than one and a half to two dollars then of course you could reduce on eating out you could cook your own meals and save to $70 over there as well and lastly of course in house rent you can save some money as well if you live in slightly outskirt uh, area of Singapore but yeah so total those were my expenses now coming to how I track my expenses on a monthly basis usually I make all of my payments as much as possible on credit cards so at the end of the month whenever I'm paying my bill that is a very good metric like that's the metric that I track on a month-on-month -month basis as to how much I've spent that whole month the only additional things which I'm not paying via my credit card is the house rent and then for my house help I do pay her cash so I just add those two things to my credit card bill and I get a good sense of what my monthly expenses are and in terms of KPI KPI is basically a performance indicator like just to track how much I have been spending if it is high or low the only thing I keep track of is whether my expenses monthly expenses are less than 20% of my earnings which most of the months it is except for you know some months if we have to buy a high ticket item like an electronic or a furniture or something or maybe some of the months we are traveling it's only in those times when it goes to about 20 3 25 percent as well but otherwise most of the times it's less than 20 percent and the rest of the money i try to invest <laughs> sometimes it's just lying in the bank but uh, yeah i just wanted to give you a glimpse of what living expenses in singapore looks like and hope most of your questions got answered if not then definitely leave me in the comments and i could address them and if you like this video hit the like button please subscribe to the channel because it's absolutely free for you and I'm going to see you in the next one. Till then, bye.